This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Well, I guess I should just start trying to get a picture of everyone who goes to Porkfest. Because you never know when something bad is going to happen to them. It always seems to happen outside the relatively safe boundaries of this event. Possibly the safest recurring event of its size in New Hampshire, but I think it's the size of the event that results in uh, the number of newsworthy things that happen to its, you know, some of its participants. There was Lloyd Danforth, who died of old age not long after putting up these uh, flyers. I think it was him who put these up. There was Allison Edwards, the daughter of the Dell Valley Silver founder. She died in the Mid-Atlantic area, murdered. Fortunately, the latest bad news isn't a death, but... Take a look at these images from a Bitcoin event at Porkfest, rather a Bitcoin tent site. Take a look and grieve a little bit, then take constructive action. These are some shots that I took of uh, the guy who's now apparently being talked about in Time Magazine, BitInstant CEO Charlie Shrem. Apparently, I mean, it sure looks like him. Uh, he was arrested around January 27th, uh, charged with money laundering. I didn't even know who he was at the time. I was just at this lot to do an interview. I'm always a little low on Bitcoin videos, so I snapped up every shot I could of these uh, these people who were really, you know, I didn't know who they were at the time. And if you look back at these images, it's sort of becoming a who's who of the Bitcoin community. Even Time Magazine is calling Shrim a Bitcoin big shot. Even the Time Magazine article, reading it, it's kind of hard to even understand what the charges mean. They do all look totally victimless. Typical for the feds. One of the problems may be, I don't know exactly where he was located. He was definitely arrested outside New Hampshire at an airport, and uh, he was his, his business was based in New York. So you got to wonder, is, is there some reason why people are running these businesses uh, in, you know, the heart of the beast uh, as opposed to going offshore or at least being in New Hampshire? Did you know that he's only 24? I just tried to go to bitinstant.com and it wouldn't open. So I tried accessing it through the start page proxy. And I get the message, the page you requested could not be retrieved by the start page proxy, 4013 forbidden, yada yada. It is possible that the page is not available to anyone. Wikipedia.org says, quote, BitInstant provided a means to rapidly pay funds to Bitcoin exchanges. As of May 2013, it had 16 employees, unquote. Oh, okay, I guess they had shut down services uh, in 2013. Wow, Wikipedia says they, uh, the Better Business Bureau gave them an F rating. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of this, these Wikipedia statements because I, 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 when I was cross-referencing, I couldn't find any indication of these kinds of concerns outside of this one Wikipedia article. So, I mean, my first gut reaction was how, you know, there is an institution or two with a motivation to make this Wikipedia article say certain things. So, until I see a lot of different people raising concerns about BitInstant, I'm a little reluctant to throw any of them under the bus. Certainly, the fact that they shut down is always going to be uh, an eyebrow raiser. I mean, they don't even have a splash page or an explanation as to why they're not there when you go to their website. This all happened, I think, long before these arrests. All right, so anyway, just wanted to let you know uh, there was a Porkfest connection with this 
national news, and give you a quick layperson's take on what's going on. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone, plus get this, Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.